Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels into the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Pierre, South Dakota, then you are in luck. Today we're going to see and explore what makes Pierre a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Pierre has about 14,000 people and is the capital of the Mount Rushmore state. Located in central South Dakota, right about here on a map. Pierre is a really small capital city, the second least populous, only behind Montpelier, Vermont. After South Dakota became a state in 1889, Pierre was chosen to be the capital because it was the center of the state. Its historic downtown and picturesque setting make it a quiet place to visit or live within the city. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that makes Pierre a great place. Number 10. State Capital The city of Pierre is the capital of South Dakota and the capital building here is very grand. Constructed between 1905 and 1910, it was built with native stone, Indiana limestone, and marble from Vermont and Italy. Its interior is very detailed and has a lot of design details that make this building a great place to visit. A few of the main highlights are the 96-foot-high open rotundra and the marble staircase that leads to a display of miniature gowns worn by each first lady at the inaugural ball. The Capitol building is open for self-guided tours and is the best way to start learning about the city and to see one of the most visited destinations there. Number 9. Flaming Fountain Located next to the Capitol Building, on the shores of Capitol Lake, you'll find the Flaming Fountain. This isn't just another art installation. Rather, it's a memorial to the South Dakota veterans who served in Korea, Vietnam, and World War II. The fountain is very unique as it has flames that rise above the water and is really cool to see. In addition to the fountain, there's also a waterfall, an eagle statue, along with other memorial statues that commemorate those who lost their lives who were from South Dakota. The Flaming Fountain is a nice memorial and can be seen easily when in the city. Number 8. La Frambois Island Nature Area one of the best outdoor recreation areas that is literally minutes from downtown is La Frambois Island. It's an island just off of this city that is covered in trees and meadows that offers a host of activities for people who like to be outside. Being along the Missouri River, it was mentioned by Lewis and Clark in their journal as they passed through in 1804. Visitors to the island can enjoy numerous hiking and biking trails, a boat ramp, plenty of places for fishing, and a picnic shelter. There's an abundance of wildlife that are present and you can immerse yourself with nature. If you're looking for a great place to exercise or just enjoy some peace and quiet, head over to this nature area. Number 7. Cultural Heritage Center there's no better place in the city to learn about the history of Pierre and the state, and in such an awesome looking and futuristic building. Opened in 1989, the goal is to interpret and preserve the heritage and culture of South Dakota, and it does a great job at doing this. The center is home to a museum that has award-winning exhibits with artifacts from many South Dakota related things. Also housed there are the State Archives, which is over 12,000 cubic feet of records that document every aspect of the region's history. These are all public records and will really give you an insight to the events that took place there. Whether you're doing research or just want to see how the city grew to be what it is, a stop at the Cultural Heritage Center is worth the time to visit when you're in town. Number 6. SD Discovery Center for a great family fun destination that will keep your kids happy and entertained for hours, be sure to check out the South Dakota Discovery Center. Located in downtown Pierre, the center has over 60 interactive science exhibits for kids. Displays and exhibits that are hands-on and designed to provide a fun atmosphere while learning about science and technology. 
They'll have fun interacting with Legos and robotics, nutrition, physical activity, and environmental education that they'll be able to immediately use in the real world applications. The center offers special programs and events throughout the year and is great for groups, homeschoolers, and even for hosting birthday parties. If you have kids, stop in here and let them have some fun. Number five, National Guard Museum. If you're into military-related items or history, the National Guard Museum may be of interest to you. Visiting, you'll see memorabilia and artifacts from the 1860s up to present day, as well as see a collection of accomplishments of the National Guard. On display inside, there are small arms, military uniforms, helicopters, and jet engines. Outside, there's a Sherman tank, fighter jet, and several artillery pieces like anti-aircraft weapons. The memorabilia and information about the National Guard isn't just connected with war, but also documents and showcases the work they do with emergencies and natural disasters. Visiting the museum will show you a wide variety of military-related items and is a nice way to celebrate their accomplishments. Number four, Virendry Museum. The Virendry Museum is located in neighboring Fort Pierre and is named after the Virendry brothers who explored the upper parts of the Missouri River in the early 1700s. The museum itself is set in a historic 1930s American Legion Hall and is owned by the city of Fort Pierre. It houses artifacts that the brothers found as they were canvassing the area and exploring new grounds. It also has a plaque they left that claimed the Missouri River for France. There's a lot of history here with expeditions and discoveries and this museum is a nice addition to see things that were found as the area was being settled. Number 3. Fort Pierre National Grassland Just outside the city is an outdoor paradise of over 115,000 acres of prairie and rolling hills that make up Fort Pierre. Wildlife, camping, bird watching, it's all there waiting to be enjoyed. The grassland is everything you'd think it would be when you picture the prairie. It's so iconic and perfect that parts of Dances with Wolves was filmed here. With plenty of places for you to pitch a tent or park an RV, experience the tranquility of the area by checking out this national grassland. Number 2. Hyde Baseball Stadium Located right next to the state capitol, the Governor's Mansion and Capitol Lake is Hyde Baseball Stadium. If you love baseball and want to see a game, this is the place to go in Pierre. The stadium was built in 1935 and holds 1,500 spectators. It is home to the Trappers, the Pierre American Legion, and hosts state tournaments regularly. There are accommodations for night games and practices, and the stadium has a grandstand along with batting cages for practicing. There are no major sports teams in Pierre, but instead of driving hours to a major city to see a game, this just might hold you over for the time being. Number 1. Ohi Dam The Ohi Dam is a modern marvel and is a really cool place to check out. It's just north of the city and it creates Lake Ohi, the fourth largest man-made reserve in the United States. This reservoir stretches a total of 231 miles up the Missouri River to Bismarck, North Dakota. The dam provides flood control to the area along with navigation, irrigation, and electricity. There's a visitor's center that has exhibits and displays that depict the construction of the dam and lake and if you're interested, you can even take a guided tour. What's really neat about the dam and lake is that there are 51 recreational areas that surround it, so if you're looking for outdoor activities like fishing, swimming and camping, all you have to do is head to Ohi Dam and you'll have a variety to choose from. Alright everybody, that'll do for today's video. Do you think I missed anything or mispronounced anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Pierre, South Dakota. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.